Hello everyone, my name is Aaron Laxon, and as you know, this is my HIV journey where I cover everything as it relates to uh, my journey with HIV, which as of today, I've been on for 679 days. That was uh, when I was diagnosed on June 6, 2011. Um, and as far as my life goes, um, you know, I'm on a tripla, I take my medication daily, um, I have employment, I have people around me uh, that accept me for, uh, for who I am and not as my status. And so I'm very fortunate. I'm also very fortunate that I get the amazing opportunity to uh, travel all across the United States um, and speak to people about HIV and other um, uh, issues uh, that impact their lives. And, um, you know, sometimes we are lured into a false sense that, you know, HIV is not a big deal. Um, and that's, you know, while it's true that we have medications that uh, uh, can help keep us healthy, um, there also are, is the issue of cost. Um, and there are programs that can help you with cost, um, but there are lifelong costs that, that you have to take in consideration uh, with being positive, as well as um, the burden of, you know, you have to take a medication daily, and that's um, for some people quite challenging to be adherent or compliant with medications uh, once a day. Some medications you have to take more than that. So the best possible outcome is if you have, um, a, if you can, then you should uh, try to stay negative. You should use methods that we have um, to stay negative. And in this video, I simply want to talk about some options that you have available to help you stay negative if you currently are negative. Now, first off, I want to stop and I want to encourage you that if you do not know your HIV status, please, please, please go to a clinic um, near you um, or text your zip code to know it. That's K-N-O-W-I-T. Um, and it will text back the closest testing facility near you. Um, please do that. But if you're still negative and you know you're negative, what are some ways that you uh, can stay negative? Well, the first one is condom use. And we know that condoms, when used consistently, um, they do offer a high level of protection, around 80%. 70 to 80 percent protection. But let's be realistic. There are people out there that are not using condoms. And I'm not judging you, I'm not slaming, uh, shaming you, because I am certainly one of those who, if I have my choice, will not use condoms. Um, and so let's just be realistic and frank about this. Most people do not use condoms consistently each and every time. So what's a good option for a person who doesn't use condoms? all the time, or if they want another level of protection. You may have heard that there's a medication that is used to uh, help prevent HIV, and that's called Truvada. It's used as PrEP. Uh, and Truvada is a medication that's taking, taken once a day. Um, it has a low incidence of side effects. In fact, most people who take it um, say they have zero side effects at all. And in studies, it has shown to be as high as 99% effective in reducing HIV infection. Um, and obviously, that's taking the medication consistently each and every day. But the medication still offers a level of protection when taken. Uh, obviously, the lower the dose, the lower the protection rate that it offers for you. Uh, if you're interested, you can go to www.truvada.com. Um, any physician can prescribe this. It doesn't have to be an infectious disease doctor. So you can go to your family doctor. Um, probably the first thing they're going to do is they're going to do an HIV test to ensure that you're still negative um, and maybe some other blood work. Now you may be saying, well, how will I pay for this? Um, there are patient assistance, assistance programs that help pay for this. Um, so I would say talk to your pharmacist and talk to your physician um, and they can help guide you on that path. Now the third option is risk reduction strategies. Obviously we know that topping is less of a risk than 
being on the reciprocal end um, or bottoming. If you're heterosexual sex, that'd be a female. If you're uh, male on male sex, that'd be the bottom. Obviously, it's higher risk to have body fluids such as cum um, uh, in you. Um, and uh, any activities where uh, bodily fluids, um, blood, uh, vaginal fluids, um, breast milk, so forth, are secreted, um, they pose a higher risk. So I would just say engage your sex partner in the conversation. Um, and don't be ashamed to have these conversations. Guess what? Everybody's having sex. And so it's time that we have a real conversation about risk reduction and what we can do to protect ourselves and protect our partners. Um, I encourage you, if you have questions for me, you can find me on social media, Aaron Laxton. Um, uh, and I'm always open to your questions and comments. Please share this video. And until my next video, do something positive.